The Chatterbox is here with Chauncey Welliver, WBC champion at the 49th annual convention in Las Vegas. So Chauncey, tell the fans what's up for you next with your fight. I fight January 21 in Auckland, New Zealand. I live half the year in New Zealand, so I'm so excited to go back. It's been over a year since I fought there. I have so many people that I love just talking with the New Zealand, just the people in general of New Zealand and the land. I'm going down, it's gonna be an absolute terrific trip. Can't wait to go in. We don't have an opponent just yet, but it's gonna be definitely the biggest name opponent that I've fought. From the guys that we're talking about, it'll be somebody good. And you're a multiple champion. So um, let's see, you've got a belt with you right now, right? You just brought one of them? Get the WBC Continental Americas. This is the one, it's, uh, you know, I hold this and I hold the Asian Boxing Council. It's, um, you know, we, I, I, because I live in New Zealand, it falls in the Asia region, which I don't know why, you know, it's uh, nowhere <laughs> close to Asia. But it's, uh, I hold that title that, rep that represents uh, Australia, New Zealand, Samoa, Asia, actually. It's surprisingly attached to Asia. But then we got the Continental America, so we're defending back and forth. So it, um, you know, it's really good. You know, we, we got to go win the title over in China, and we get to defend this in America. It's the two of the greatest countries you'll get to go in, and I'm proud to be a champion of both of those. Now, Little Bird told me you're a big, huge star in China. Thankfully, yes. You know, I love it. You know, I get swarmed by kids. You would think I was Austin Powers. I get chased down the street. It's terrific. It's great to be a representative to the WBC in China because, you know, bo boxing in China, I believe, will blow up very, very, very soon. It's getting big. I think they're going to have the Mayweathers, the Pacquiao's. All they need is the talent. And I'm glad to be a spokes. I'm glad to be their first big star in Chinese boxing. And you know, it's uh, I look forward to defending the WBC Asian Boxing Council. I look forward to winning the WBC World Title there. <laughs> You've got 51 victories, correct? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do, do I look like I have 51 victories? Let's see. Oh, you got a beard. Uh, you're, okay. you're fine. <laughs> well hidden then. <laughs> <laughs> now also, you have something special going on with WBC Cares. Yes, WBC Cares is, is an organization that I care very much about. I come from a very small, poor neighborhood. So, you know, what they do for the children, I think is terrific. They help the needy children. They help kids that are sick. They help every kind of child. And I love that. I love that. Jill Diamond has a great organization. Jose Sudelman has a great organization. I will do anything I can to help them if, if they ever need anything. Or if anybody happened to be watching the interview ever needs anything for kids, get a hold of me. You can get a hold of me through Facebook or anything, and I'll gladly answer any questions. Or if you need any help or anything through me or the WBC Cares, you can get a hold of us at any time. That's awesome. So with your hard scrabble childhood, you really relate to these kids. Did you ever think when you were a, a kid growing up that you you would become a world champion? No. <laughs> you know, it re I didn't even think that before until really it didn't click, you know, even for the, through the first 50 fights of mine, I thought, yeah, just a fighter. You know, I don't really, you know, I just want to have fun and get the crowd cheering. That's all I want. I love the crowd cheering for me and that felt so good. I think that's why I like China. But really when I got WBC ranked, when I won the WBC youth world title, it's like, I can do this. I can really be a, a, a fighter, not not a guy trying to entertain the crowd, the guy trying to enter, entertain <laughs> you, the boxing people, the people that really, really love the sport. And hopefully I have a lot of people that dislike me, you know, in the game and say, he needs to step it up, he needs this. But there are a lot of people, more people that, that like me. And, and I like that. And a lot of people give me a lot of support. And I thank you and the people for, for all your support. Thank you. One last question. Um, if you could tell any child that wants to get out of poverty, what advice would you give them? Have a goal. That's the biggest thing. You've got to have a goal and you have to believe it. I heard a saying and I thought it sounded hokey, but it's so true. You believe it, you achieve it. You know, it's it's definitely a great motto in life. You have to, you you, you can't think, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm stuck in this world because you'll be stuck there the rest of your life. Even if you're here, you have to think I'm going here and you'll you'll eventually get there. So think high, you'll definitely get high. You stick with the program, your program, you'll get there, you, you'll, you'll be the biggest thing in the world and no matter what you choose to be, whether it be a ballerina, a boxer, a politician, or anything, you can do it. Are you gonna be a motivational speaker after you hang up the gloves? I'm not very good with talking, so <laughs> <laughs> so maybe maybe I'll be a, a side, somebody sidekick when they're a motivational speaker. All right, let's get one last look at the belt. One last look. This is hopefully not my last look. <laughs> but uh, 
This is one of my pride and joys. I have a couple WBC titles, and I'm very, very proud to be WBC Congo America's champion. And as I said, I'm the WBC Asian Boxing Council champion, the APCO. I don't have that belt with me, but I'm very proud of that title as well. I'm just very proud to be a WBC, as you can see on the arm, proud to be a WBC oh, champion. Wait a minute. How did I miss that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, we're zooming in closer. There you go. Thank you very much, Chauncey. Thank you very much. And if you guys ever need anything, as I said, you can hit me up on Facebook. If you ever need anything or if the people ever need anything, any questions, if you ever want to chat, ask me what it's like going into the ring. Ask me what it was like going into my last fight. Ask me what it's like to be a fighter. Or if you just have any questions or need any help, hit me up on Facebook anytime. Okay, I think you should have your own talk show too. <laughs> Sidekicks. So I'll be the Ed McMahon. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much.